Hello, everybody. Welcome to lab. Button up your lab coats because it's time to do a gram stain. Here we go. These are the materials that you'll need for the gram stain. You'll need slides to put your bacteria on. Let's start with that part. Slides, a tube of broth culture with bacteria, a Bunsen burner, and a striker. Place the Bunsen burner. We're gonna make two slides of bacteria for gram staining. And the first thing we're gonna do is just degrease the slides Make sure that they don't have any oils on them. This will help our wax crayon stick a little bit better. Just pass it through the flame on each side to decrease. Now you're going to take your wax crayon and draw two circles on your slide, like this. And then you're going to label your slide with the initials of your bacteria. These are SE. like so, SE. And now this part's really, really important. You're gonna turn the slides over so that the part you wrote on is facing down. We wanna put the bacteria on the nice clean side so that when we stain them, the wax crayon doesn't get in with the cells. Click the tube to resuspend the cells and then we'll flame the inoculation loop. Pull the lid off. Remember to hold your tube at an angle to prevent spores from falling in it. And then we're going to wait 30 seconds with the loop inside the tube to let it cool down before we retrieve any culture. Once your loop is cool, you can reach in and get a loop full of bacteria, put your tube down and you're ready to add that bacteria to one of your circles. And you're just gonna smear it around filling in the circle. The purpose of the circle is to let you know where you put your bacteria when you're ready to look at them on the microscope. Now you have a nice circle to aim for with your objective lens. All right, and we'll repeat the steps again for each of our circles. Okay, I've put bacteria in the circles and now we're gonna allow these to air dry. You can just leave them on the counter and wait for them to air dry, or you can speed up the air drying by putting them in a clothespin and holding them well above the flame. You want it to be at least a foot up above the flame because you don't want to boil the bacteria and the liquid that they're in. You just want to help the water in the broth evaporate a little faster. Once you don't see any more liquid on the slide, it's time to do your heat fix step. This is a really important step. It causes the bacteria to stick to the glass slide so that when you do the staining and the rinse steps, you don't wash the bacteria off your slide. So the heat fix, we're going to pass the slide through the flame four times. One, two, three, four. You see both of our slides. And the bacteria are on the upward facing surface. All right, we are ready to do the staining. Staining is always going to take place on the tray. We're, we want to keep our staining tray in the cafeteria tray so that we don't splash stain all over the countertop. Here are our four stains that we're going to use. Crystal violet, iodine, alcohol, and saffron and red. You can stain two slides at the same time, just put them both on the staining tray. I'm going to start with the crystal violet, and you're going to want to use a timer of some kind. You can either use uh, a cell phone timer or watch the clock in the classroom. So I'm going to 
just make sure that I add crystal violet to both of my slides. And this is going to stain for one minute. OK, one minute's up. Time to rinse. You just rinse with water until it runs clear. And then you can tap it on the staining tree and lay it down gently. Let's rinse the other one. We don't need to dry in between our wash steps. We can just move straight to the next step, which is adding iodine. So now we'll do iodine for one minute. Again, just make sure you cover your two circles on each slide, and that is enough. So now set your timer for one minute. And we're ready to rinse. The next step is decolorization. And you've noticed that so far I've been staining both slides at the same time. But for this one, it's such a short period of time. It's only 10 seconds that we're going to leave this on here that we're actually going to do these one at a time. Do one slide for 10 seconds and then do the other slide for 10 seconds. I'll show you how we do it with this slide. So you get your timer ready. So you're ready to hit start or you're ready to watch the clock. And as soon as that goes on there, you start counting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. And I have my water ready and I start rinsing right away. And then we'll repeat it for the other slide. 10 seconds starting now. And rinse. Okay, we're ready for our final stain. This is going to be the saffron in red. And same thing, I'm just going to cover each circle for one minute and then rinse. Okay, one minute is up, time to rinse. All right, the staining part is done. Now we're going to go ahead and dry the cells inside the bibulous paper. Please make sure that you actually have the bibulous paper for the step and not the optical lens wipes, which can look very similar. So the bibulous paper can be reused many times. So when you open it, you'll see there's some stain in it already. That's fine. You're going to take both of your slides and put them down in any spot in the book and then blot, blot, blot. You might need to do it a couple times in a few different places to get them all the way dry. All right, and that's it. Now our slides are both stained and ready to look at under the microscope. You may or may not see a little bit of color in the circle. It just depends on how many cells you had. If it's a more dense culture, you might actually see some pink or purple kind of color with your eyes. And if it's a less dense culture, you might not see anything. But don't panic. That doesn't mean that there's not bacteria there. All right, off to the microscope.